Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and if you cannot make sentences in Russian, it's most likely because of these two reasons. Number one is vocabulary, which is harder to fix, and we're going to talk about that first. And then we'll talk about another reason, second reason, that is way trickier, but easier to fix. So, vocabulary. You most likely don't have enough vocabulary in your head, in your subconscious. You might have it on your app, you might have it on a piece of paper somewhere, but that's all in the app and on the piece of paper. It's not in your memory, in your subconscious. You can have a hundred, a thousand words stored somewhere, written somewhere, like I did with my English. I would read something, write all the new words to me on a piece of paper, go over that list once, this word means that, this word means that, and onto the new words. And surprise, surprise, those words didn't stick for long. Avoid that mistake with these two problems that we can fix regarding vocabulary. The first problem with vocabulary is not having enough useful words. You might know a hundred niche words, but when you go to make a sentence about your life, those niche words cannot be used. So you are lacking very basic vocabulary to talk about your life. What can you do to fix that? What can you do today and for the following months and years to add all the needed words and useful words to your vocabulary. I have three different vocabulary building techniques for you. You can choose one or all three, it's up to you, to make the words that you learn closer to what you actually need. First exercise is describe things around you. Let's do it right now while we're making this video. Это красный микрофон. На мне черная футболка. Я записываю видео. Сзади меня шторки. На меня светит яркий свет. У меня есть хороший телефон. Just anything that your eyes can lay on, just describe those things. And if you cannot describe something around you, most likely that's a mistake in your vocabulary that you need to fix. If you don't know the curtains, шторки, add that word to your vocabulary. If you don't know microphone, microphone, add that word to your vocabulary. If it's around you, you might want to talk about it sometime in the future. And it means that you're using those things. This exercise is great for adjectives, which is describing things like big, red, small, and nouns or objects like microphone, curtains, light, etc. Then the second exercise. Talk about your day, what you did yesterday and what you're gonna do tomorrow. We talk to each other person to person about most regular things. The traffic was crazy, man. I didn't get enough sleep last night. Let's cook something for dinner. Things like that, right? Super basic things. Tell me last time you talked to your friends about, I went to this museum and this exhibition. The art was impeccable. This statue represented something deep. Those words and <laughs> those conversations almost never happen unless you're some royalty or something, right? So we have to learn to talk about most basic stuff. And if you go to describe your day, just on a piece of paper, you will realize that some words are missing from your vocabulary. Once you fill in on those action words and describe in your day, you can go on to the third strategy. Recite your most recent conversation. Let's say I talk to my wife about something super basic. Are you done with work? She says, yeah, why? You want to go for a walk? Sure, let's go. Even this super basic conversation. Right now, pause this video and try to translate this into Russian. This should be super easy, right? But you may not know how to say, are you done with something? Or maybe want to go for a walk? Things like that. So those conversational phrases might slip your attention, might slip your eyes, and you will go for things that are more tangible, hobbies, museums, music, etc. But they don't help you with the most basic conversations, right? I would say, out of those three strategies, choose one, whichever one you prefer the most, and do the same thing for you. About 50 words per week is a good number. It might not seem like a lot, but 50 words per week, that's 2,500 words per year. That's more than enough to keep up the pace. But if you don't want to do all this legwork and do this analysis of your own Russian and your own conversations, Join a beef link camp with the first link in the description if you want me 
to give you all the words that you need to learn as a beginner or intermediate or advanced student. Each week we share a vocabulary list to learn along with the tasks for the week. And the whole eight week intensive course is designed to get you guys to the next level in your Russian so you can speak better, make less mistakes, speak faster, have larger vocabulary as well. A lot of different things that we do in the camp. You can check it all out with the first link in the description. Look at the week to week curriculum, the pricing and the start dates and all of that. You can find it all with the link in the description. But once you find the right words, the second problem is not studying those words enough. It's one thing to find the new words. It's a whole different thing to keep them right here in your memory. It's a lot more work than to find some list of words. You add them, you're good to go. But how do you keep them right here? When you first make a list of words, just going over it once, it's not going to do anything. You have to create a system where you continuously check your memory. If you still remember those individual words, which can be tasking, right? It gets, it's a lot of words. And for each of them, I'm supposed to keep tabs of if I still remember it, there must be a system. You can create your own. That's up to you. But there's already a lot of apps that do that. The method that I enjoy the most for myself and I recommend to all of you guys is flashcards. Flashcards apps, flashcard apps, don't let you forget the words. Let's say you got 50 words for that week, right? You flip through all 50 on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday. You see the words at least five times each, if not more, if you're struggling with the word. Then you move on to the next week, new 50 words. And if you're struggling with some words from the first week, it's going to continue to feed them to you the next week. So it really, truly gives you no chance to forget a word. That's why flashcards truly, truly work and it's an incredible resource. Download any app whatsoever, add the new words to that flashcard app and start flipping through them daily. So you found the right words, now you're working on keeping them for a long time. You might still be struggling making sentences because of this last missing piece in your Russian journey. And the last problem is you're not speaking enough. You might know a thousand words, but you learn them individually and look like this, like a word cloud somewhere online. I'm sure that you have seen this word cloud before. They are all individual words and you learn them and you remember them pretty well individually, but you never practice putting those individual words in, in one sentence like this, like Я люблю жить. I love to live. You might know я, you might know люблю, you might know жить individually, but when you put them in a sentence like this, you need to practice doing this. You need to practice putting them together and piecing the meaning of each word to express your thought. And you might say, well, I don't have a native speaker to talk to every day. I don't have a tutor. I'm just by myself out here. You can still do this by yourself. Just simply get your phone, turn on the voice recorder and start speaking to that voice recorder for like five minutes per day. Talk about anything, your room, your job, your friends, any topic whatsoever will be just fine. So the formula to sum it up is like this. Learn useful words, practice them daily so you won't forget them, and then make sentences and express your thoughts through those words. That's the formula. Hope you can follow it and get the results that you need. If you need some help with your Russian, check out our B Fluent Camp. It's an eight-week intensive that will take your Russian to the next level. Speaking, vocabulary, grammar, listening, all of that. I'll be there teaching you guys. Hope you can join. We can learn together and have fun together. Check it out with this button right here.